Hey guys, it's Mariah and today I'm back with another video and this time I ran an Instagram poll on my Instagram story asking you guys what you would like to see if you wanted to see a Kim K inspired blue smoky eye or if you wanted a spring makeup tutorial and the Kim K was winning for like the longest time and then all of a sudden it switched to a spring makeup tutorial so I did this pink and purple very light and easy spring makeup tutorial and I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and don't forget before you start watching this video to find that subscribe button it's down there yeah and if you're not subscribed already then you need to subscribe because I don't know what you're waiting for okay you want to see how I achieve this look then just keep on watching So first, I'm going to take my Makesa Beauty E330 brush. It looks just like this. It's just a large, fluffy blending brush. And I'm going to go in with this light pink shade in the second row. I'm going to use that light pink shade as a transition shade all in my crease. Now, you want to make sure that you set the eyelids with concealer, but you don't put any setting powder on them. Um, by leaving the concealer without setting powder, it creates a tacky texture and it'll adhere to the eyeshadow better and the pigment would be a lot greater. Now the third row, the third shade in I'm going to go in with this darker pink and I'm going to use it to deepen up my crease. I'm going to focus this below the crease and in the outer V. And I'm going to be blending it in towards my inner corners. And then I'm going to go back in with that lighter pink and I'm going to use it to keep buffing out to make sure everything is blended nicely. Now I'm going to go in with my Morphe E18 brush and this is a smaller, more dense blending brush. So I like to use it to get very accurate in my outer corner. So I'm going to go in with this deep purple right here and I'm going to use it to deepen up the outer V. So I'm going to lightly press it on the outside using tapping motions to build up the color before I start blending. And then using the same brush, I'm just going to lightly blend it. And I'm going to use that fluffy blending brush again and I'm going to use it to blend these colors better. Now taking this Motives Concealer brush and my Tarte Shape Tape, I'm going to do a half cut crease. Now when we get towards the end, we're just going to feather it out. Now that my crease is cut, we're going to go in with that original very light pink that we used the first time for a transition. I'm going to take it back on my E18 brush and I'm going to start blending out the edges of this cut crease. Starting with the lightest color I used, and as it gets towards the outside, going into the darkest color. I'm 
Now with that darker pink. And then with that deep purple. I'm going to take my same blending brush and blend all the colors together. Now going in with this Motives Smudger brush, I'm going to go in with that second pink shade we used and clean up my line that I used with concealer. Now going in with this tan shade right below the white, I'm going to take that on my concealer brush again and I'm just going to tap it on where the concealer is to really lock the concealer in place. Now using my Morphe Y15 brush, I'm going to go in with that original pink shade and just buff out all the edges. Now using my E18 brush once again, I'm going to go in with that second pink shade and bring it to my lower lash line. Then I'm going to go in with that deep purple shade and I'm going to use it to deepen up my lower waterline. Okay, and now I'm going to just fix up my mascara because I never took it off before, don't even ask. And then using a eyeliner brush, I'm going to go in with that nude shade again and line my waterline. By adding, by adding a white or nude eyeshadow or eyeliner to your waterline, it really opens up your eyes and makes them seem brighter, whereas using black eyeliner kind of makes your eyes seem a bit smaller. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with these two pink shimmers, and I'm going to use them in my inner corner to brighten it up. Okay, and then using my Anastasia and Ambreezy highlighter, I'm going to highlight underneath my brow bone. Okay, so now I'm going to contour my face using my Wet n Wild bronzer. And if you haven't seen, I use this in my affordable makeup um, tutorial, so you guys can go check it out. I'll leave it like up here somewhere. And then I'm using my Tarte Blush in Party, and I'm just going to put these on the apples of my cheeks. And now for the part that you have all been waiting for. I know, we all love a good highlighter, so I'm going to use Anastasia and Am Breezy once again because this stuff is bomb. And we're just going to highlight our faces. Okay, now I've been using this Motives Blender brush. And it's supposed to be like blending, but it's so perfect. It fits nicely on my nose. And I've been using this to highlight my nose. And it is amazing. Like... My nose looks snatched. I just love um, the spring colors with just mascara on. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. Um, you can go and add lashes up to your choice. Now I'm going to go in with the Jeffree Star lipstick in Birthday Suit. It's kind of pinkish. We're going to see how I like it. It smells like creamsicle pops. Okay, so I just threw on some Ardell Wispy Eyelashes to add some drama to this look. You can skip that step if you want, there's no big deal. And this is it for my spring makeup tutorial. I wanted to go with pinks and 
purples because I think those are so beautiful and I love the springtime and I hope you guys really enjoyed this video please let me know down below what you guys would like to see and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up like a huge thumbs up like if you could like it like five times, that would be great. You can only like it once, so one time will have to do. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can be notified every time I upload a video. And that's it. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!